everyone, this is One Spitting here with the Battle Report. So this is uh, game two of my Bretonians versus an ogre army. Uh, the battle happened during the same night as uh, my report just previous to this, but it's actually been over a week since that game. So uh, some of the details might be fuzzy, but I don't think so. I think I have them all. So starting with his deployment, far right, a uh, couple of saber tusks. Then he's got a unit of nine bulls, and there he has his level two fire spellcaster. Got a couple iron blasters, eight lead belchers, four mornfang with the obligatory dragonhide banner, and then a bunch of iron guts with his battle standard bearer, as well as his general, who's a slaughter master, level four, who has the hell heart, of course. So this is the exact same list I had last time. So knights. Let's see, Knights Errant on the far left, and that has my General. And I put my General there because the only way I can handle Death Stars is to charge my General out of this unit and into the Death Star and then just hold him up. And so the, the idea of this list is um, have the General hold up the Death Star, use all my Knights to take care of all the other stuff, and then hopefully come help the General out later on. If I eventually lose a General, uh, I'm, I'm willing uh, to risk that. So uh, I put the... The uh, bowman in front of unit of knights of the realm. So uh, really, what I'm trying to do there is say if he's going to shoot at me with his iron blasters, he's got to target knights errant, and I don't care about the knights errant unit anyway because I plan on charging the general out of them. They're just a character uh, delivery system, and the uh, bowman can just wheel out of the way, and I can still move up with my knights. Uh, the building is blocking and protecting the next unit of knights, which has my battle standard bearer and my prophetess, and of course she has a crown of command. I like to do that to protect the BSB so they don't break from combat very easily. There's a This time, instead of putting the trebuchets in the corner, I put them behind my lines. So then I've got a bunch of men-at-arms. They've got the level 2. Uh, she, so she's got the transformation spell. So the model, if she does a low-level transformation, I have a model that will fit within the unit, which is nice, because then she can make way and stuff like that. And then if she does the beefed-up version, it's on a you know, a uh, 50 by 100, so it doesn't fit with in the unit. Um, so it's, you know, you can't use her in combat in all situations. Anyway, more knights, more bowmen, and then more knights of the realm, and then my peg knights on the far right. And of course, it's my second trebuchet. So ogres, of course, go first so I can get the blessing. Uh, they do that. Uh, you know, in the last game, he held back and maybe come to him, and this time he's being more aggressive, uh, which I think is, I think it's a better way to play. I think it's smart. He throws his saber tusks up here if, by my peg knights. Otherwise, he's just moving around. And of course, he shoots at me, and I fail my panic test again. It, <laughs> these guys, peg knights, are a lot of points. I, mean, it's, I guess I'm just going to have to keep them within my leadership and BSB reroll. Uh, re uh, let's see. Otherwise, he he uh, looks like he kills a knight. Uh, not too bad. And we go to Pretonian turn one. So, yeah, I march the bowman up. Uh, I charge my general out of the unit uh, into his his uh, Death Star. I needed a 10, and I failed it. So he's out there in the open, which is not good. Um, I throw my, my bowman up there. Uh, really, I think, I'm not sure what I was thinking, to be honest. Um, it very well could have been that think, thinking that if he charges the Zmornfang, that I'll just take it, and he could overrun my BSB's unit. But then... Uh, I should be able to counter charge with one, if not two, units. So I think that's what I was thinking. Yeah, failing the charge was frustrating. I knew it wasn't highly likely, but uh, yeah. So during uh, magic, I get the uh, beefed up magic missile off on this iron blaster, and I do a single wound to it. I could use a little more dice love there. Uh, the miscast kills some knights. Let's see, I started with uh, 11, so it kills 2. Could have been worse. Uh, trebuchets open up to kill the, kill the Iron Blaster, which forces a panic test, and even with re-rollable high leadership, he missed Born Fang fail. So <clears throat> that is absolutely huge. Very, very helpful. Uh, yeah, very, very helpful. Otherwise, another trebuchet lands there. Uh, this unit is just really rocking my world, so uh, I was hoping to do more than that, but I'll take it. Ogre's turn two is lead belters enter the building. I hate that. You, you can't get them out of the building, and they just unload so many shots. Uh, he doesn't. He knows what I'm doing with my general now, so I can't even... It just doesn't help. So uh, he's blocking my general from charging his Death Star. He rallies his Mornfang. Yeah, I put the Savage Beast on my general in case his Mornfang charged him. And... 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm showing here. My my assumption is he had some kind of miscast or something. Who knows? <clears throat> yeah, his, his lead belters in the building shoot at my general. I've got a two up rerollable. Strength farmer piercing puts me at a four up rerollable and then a six up ward. And with all those shots, I take a single wound. So I felt lucky enough. There we go to Pretonia turn two. Uh, my bowman on the right charge a saber tusk. My knights of the realm on the right charge one. He flees and gets away. My general uh, just goes around the saber tusk and parks in front of his death star. And then I charge the saber tusk or I charge saber tusk with my knights of the realm first anyway. Um, now, just so you know, we play by the rules that govern our local tournaments. And so when my general pivoted, that actually took him within an inch of the saber tusk, not touching him, but, but within an inch of him, uh, which arguably you can't do, but our rules explicitly say that you get free virtual pivots. So if a single model is pivoting, you can break the one inch rule um, as long as you don't end up that way. So uh, in case you're picky on the, about the rules like I try to be, that's why it is. I actually charged my men-at-arms into the building knowing I'm going to lose a lot of men-at-arms, uh, but hoping just to kill as many of those guys as possible. In hindsight, I probably just should have lobbed trebuchet rocks on that, but anyway, that's what I did. There's the right. Yeah, just willing to sacrifice men-at-arms. If I can just kill a couple of those guys, it'll be worth it. Yeah, there's that. Oh, wait, 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 go back. Uh, let's see, his <clears throat> his level 2 is fleeing. I think I charged that level 2 with something. I think the men-at-arms charged him and he fled, and so they redirected him to the building. If you look at the top right of this picture, that's his level 2 lore of fire. So, during the magic phase, yeah, my uh, I miscast casting something probably relatively insignificant and uh, destroy that whole unit. Fantastic. Uh, Bowman can't even handle a saber test, but we stick. And, yeah, I do some wounds. He does a lot more, and we all just stick around there. So, uh, I don't know what I was hoping for there, but I'm not going to complain. Yeah, this was really, really unfortunate. So, I, my knights couldn't even kill the dang saber test. Matter of fact, by the look of it, I didn't even do a single wound to it. Broke it in combat. I overran because I need to get such that the Morn Fang can't charge me. As it is now, the Morn Fang, if they go straight ahead, they can just barely miss the Iron Gut unit and then can wheel and charge my unit. So I needed I needed to get a lot farther. I ended up rolling like a three. <laughs> I just... <sighs> yeah, so Ogre's turn three. His Morn Fang need a ten. Of course, they roll a ten. Uh, they can only hit my Prophetess, so... Yeah, this game's going to the crapper in a hurry. Uh, yeah, his Death Star decides not to charge my general, because why should he? He can just fire all his lead belchers at the general. Uh, let's see, over here on the right, looks like his, um, his level 2 does not rally, but then again, he rolls like a 3 and doesn't go off the board. Otherwise, everything looks like that. He shoots my general, kills him. Uh, let's see, Iron Blasters are opening up on my Knights Errant and killing them. <clears throat> After combat, yeah, I easily killed my Prophetess. We broke, so that killed my Battle Standard Bearer. I got away, but I'm on a single guy who needs Snake Eyes to rally. And it looks like that. The only good news is I'm going to get a Flank Charge into his Morn Fang. So I, I do that. Uh, this time I decide to take the Men at Arms instead of going in the building. It wasn't worth it this time. And this... I just plan on just dropping rocks in their head anyway. So I'm just doing that. <clears throat> There's the flank charge. I'm not going to kill a ton of them. I need to break them in combat. Uh, or at least win combat by enough so that he can't reform. As long as he's not reforming, I'm, I'm comfortable staying like this. It's blocking his Death Star. Uh, trebuchets start landing here and um, killing some. I, I'm still a little bit disappointed with it. What happens is the... Um, the strength 10 does d6 wounds. I need that one to wound. And I think twice this game, when I, I only rolled, I rolled a 1 to wound, and so I didn't get the benefit of it. So I break the Mordfang in combat. I actually do a fair number of wounds, but they get away. And that sucks, because now he's going to save all those points, and his, his uh, Death Star is going to charge my unit and mop them up. Uh, Bowman still can't handle a Saber Tusk. We go to... 
Yeah, this says Brett 3. This must be Ogre 4. It looks like... Anyway, there's that. Yeah, so his Iron Guts charged my unit, his Mornfang Rally. Uh, now he's just going to keep on shooting at me. And, yeah. <laughs> he just... He just tore that unit up. I don't think he broke me in combat. I think he just killed them all. I don't know. If he did break, he ran him down. Uh, the Sabreness finally dies on the right. I felt that was a moral victory. Now I'm going to get... I can charge my Knights of the Realm into this um, this bull unit. Um, that may or may not be enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge a minute at arms there too. And the only spell I have, because my Prophetess is dead, so I'm just going to hopefully roll relatively low, maybe six or seven on the Winds of Magic, and throw them all at Transformation of Kanan, go for a low-level one so that uh, she can transform and stay in the unit, and tear them up that way. Uh, of course, I go to Winds of Magic, and I roll a three, and I don't get the spell. So anyway, it looks like that. I take my Knight's Errant, and I just park him in front of his Death Star. Um, what, I, what I was trying to do was make it to where, if he charged me, I could flee and bounce through my bowman. But then I, I just couldn't move enough. You can see now if I flee, uh, he's going to have he's gonna have a decent chance of catching me. There's that. At least there's something. Uh, so trebuchets, are, I don't know if I'm aiming for the building or scattering on the building, but uh, they uh, killed a couple of these guys. If you look at the very top on his turn, his level 2 rallied right at the edge of the board. Uh, after combat, yeah, I couldn't get the spell off. I lose my spellcaster. <clears throat> and uh, we do beat and break, we run down the unit, so at least I have something. Uh, his turn, he charges my knight's errant, I flee and I get away. And other than that, um, I think his iron his iron guts then charged my bowman, I fled. I didn't roll very high, and then he rolled even less. It's kind of funny, so yeah, none of it matters. I don't have anything worth keeping... His Iron Blaster hits my trebuchet and only does a couple wounds, so it's got a little bit of life left in it. Uh, my turn, the Knights Errant don't rally. Darn it. So now on his turn, his Saber Test can just charge them off the board. Uh, my Bowman rally. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'm just moving around the building at the top, just trying to get some possible flank charges later. Yeah, so just trying to show you what I'm trying to do. So, um, yeah, if he, doesn't, if he can't move for much with his Death Star... I could charge with my knights and maybe try to get lucky. The problem is his BSB has crown of command, so it's going to be going to be rough trying to break him. I think my trebuchet is good and, and pick on that Death Star a little bit more. Yeah, not going to do a whole lot to it. His turn, he charges the bowman. Uh, I think I take it. I don't remember why, but it doesn't matter. His saber test charges my knights there and off the table. Uh, he, he's willing to sacrifice his level two, and I'm willing to take it. I can actually charge the level two with my uh, men-at-arms and my... it doesn't look like it from this angle, but my knights can actually go straight ahead and get around his level 2 and then do 90 90 degree wheel and hit his uh, iron blaster in the rear. And both of us looked at that and that's valid, so at least I can do that, maybe. Uh, he kills the, the trebuchet. My other trebuchet failed its panic test. I should have put those things six inches apart. Dumb. So now I can't even sh shoot without it my last turn. Of course, he beats the bowman. Uh, Petronia turn six. Um, yeah, bowmen aren't rallying over here. Uh, at the top, that was kind of funny. I charged his iron blaster with my knights, and they fled. Uh, and just popped through his units. He's got good leadership, so he's going to, uh, you know, not not lose the thing. Uh, my, uh, I decided not to redirect into his Death Star because it wasn't going to go well for me. Uh, my men-at-arms go ahead and charge his level 2, and yeah, never know how that's going to go, but I end up killing him. I don't think I, I think I broke him in combat and ran him down, so that was nice. And the game ends like that, so yeah, crushing loss to the Bretonians. I just, just epic fails left and right. I, uh, I think I was, well, I was certainly frustrated during the game. I, I felt there was a lot of key rolls that didn't go my way, but more importantly is I, I still felt that my list can handle this ogre list and two games in a row I just got slapped around. So I don't know if I'm just I'm just not evaluating the list correctly or if I'm just playing it wrong or if it's just a couple uh, an unlucky streak or what. So if you have thoughts on that, yeah, please let me know. Other than that, that's the game. Hope you enjoyed it.